Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Almar Auto Sear. Before I jump into anything else about this knife, I want to talk about the reliability of it. Uh, it seems to be pretty much a fail, as far as I can tell. My buddy Adrian used this in his Afghanistan deployment. Uh, he said after the first week, the automatic opening mechanism of it completely broke. And he said every one of these that he saw over there uh, eventually failed. The only way to get this out right now is to like flick it out by holding the button down and letting it lock. But a lot of times when you do that, it'll get like like this, like almost almost all the way, and then you'd have to flick it again. Uh, I'm going to be contacting Almar, or actually he will, and uh, we'll be sending it back, seeing what their customer service is like, seeing if they'll either repair or replace it. Uh, these are MSRP of uh, almost $300. I think they're like $280 MSRP. So for that kind of price, you'd think that they would uh, repair or replace it without really giving you too much of a hassle. But we'll see. If I have any issues about that, I'll, uh, I'll post an update video. And I'll post an update video anyway when I get it back just to see the, uh, the working knife if they do repair or replace it. I'll let you guys know what happens. Let's talk about the knife anyway since we have it here. It has a nice S30B blade. It's a combo edge, uh, 59 to 60 on the Rockwell hardness scale. It has a pretty nice edge on it. I touched the edge up a little bit and I cleaned it up when I got it. I got a, uh, see, I got a business card here. See, it's pretty sharp still. I touched it up just a little bit, but he barely got to use the thing because the, the damn mechanism failed on him. Uh, but it is a nice, nice blade shape. I like the serrations; they're not too aggressive. Some of the things that I do like about this, I really like the pocket clip. Uh, I love this design pretty much universally when you see a manufacturer use this. Let me see if I can bring it up here a little bit. Where you see the pocket clip goes all the way up and it screws into the actual the bottom of the knife. So it rides as deeply as it possibly can. So you barely see anything. All you really see is the clip pretty much in your pocket, which I like. And the clip also uses that kind of, let's see if you can see it, the sweeping kind of recurve. So it... It sticks up just a little bit, so it goes really easy in and out of your pocket, but it is a really strong clip. And I like that a lot. I also like the locking mechanism on the back. You see, see, I can't even get it out. Um, once you do open it, if you flip this up, it is nice and solidly locked. For an auto knife, it has pretty decent lockup. Uh, there's just a little bit of side to side and a little bit of up and down. I'd say I'd say more up and down than there is side to side. But it's it's very minimal for an auto knife. I like the colors, um, all blacked out, looks good. The blade has a nice finish on it. Of course, I don't know how it would wear because he barely got to use it, <laughs> which is another hit. Everything's kind of coming back to the reliability of it here, which is a huge knock. Uh, especially, it's, it's especially sad considering this is mostly targeted, almost exclusively targeted military and law enforcement. So I, I definitely wouldn't recommend this right now. I, I couldn't, you know, within good conscience recommend this because he said everyone he saw over there the, uh, the automatic opening system would break on them. I mean, it, it does nothing. So I'm assuming that the uh, the spring is broken in there. I, I, have, I actually can't tell you if it is because the two screws here at the back stripped out. <laughs> when I try to take it apart, I was going to try to break it down and get a better look at it and show you guys exactly what went wrong with it, but I can't get the damn thing apart myself, so uh, can't do much about that. Like I said, there is a lot of things to like. Um, I'm not a, usually a fan of the aluminum handle scales. It has uh, Type 3 anodized uh, scales. I'm not usually a fan of those, but on this knife, they're they're pretty comfortable. That's not too bad of a choice. Uh, it's got like two choil, it's like a double choil almost, so your, your hand really locks in there, and it's got a nice thumb ramp. No jimping on the thumb ramp, but it's not. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's really too necessary. Your hand locks in pretty tight. Uh, it's got a uh, lanyard hole in the back there. Although it's kind of kind of almost mid knife here and I, I never like a lanyard I like the lanyard hold to be at the back but I guess they can't do that because of the clip so I understand that but I probably wouldn't even put a lanyard on it at that point but uh yeah overall it's pretty much a, a big disappointment I would say it's got all the uh, the buzzwords the keywords that you would want s30v the you know the auto opening it's got a nice lock in the back it's a nice clip nice you know cool colors but uh, yeah it's pretty much a fail so far so We'll see what Almar has to say, and uh, I'll let you know. I'll update you guys when I find out something. Uh, but that's about it. I'll put in a couple macro shots here of the uh, knife now that it's been cleaned up, and uh, that's about it. Later, guys. Mm -hmm.